Social studies education plays a crucial role in the civic, social, and intellectual development of our students. As teachers, we know that our subject is important to the overall growth of our students as learners and as participants in society. However, it can be difficult to drum up excitement when the things we are teaching about happened long before our students were born. Making history come alive is key to helping our students connect with the content. Field trips are often the most impactful way of making history seem relevant and modern. Traditional field trips can be difficult to implement for a few reasons. Too often, students use field trips as a time to text and hang out with friends, with no focus on the content. Discipline issues can also be difficult to manage in the field trip environment. But most impactfully, field trips can be cost and time prohibitive. One way we can circumvent the difficulties of taking our students on traditional field trips is through the use of technology. With technology at our fingertips, we can make history come alive for our students from the comfort of our own classroom or school computer lab. So what pieces of technology are available to use? One option is Google Tour Builder. While Google Tour Builder doesn't take you and your students on a physical field trip away from the school, it can make your students feel like they are visiting the places they are reading about in their textbook. There are two great ways you can use Google Tour Builder in your classroom. The first way is by creating preset tours of different locations. You can add in pictures and descriptions for each location. You can then send or share this tour with your students, and they can take a trip to the places with you as the tour guide. The beautiful Google map will move them from location to location, and at each new place, your pictures and descriptions will be there to enrich their experience. The second way to use Google Tour Builder is to have your students create their own tours. All they have to have is a Google account, which is free, and computer access to work on them. Creating Google Tours is quick and simple. This is a wonderful way to give students autonomy in their learning. You could give the class a list of historical sites to choose from, guide them through researching their location of choice, and then have them create tours. These tours could then be shared with you and their fellow classmates. It is one thing to see a stagnant picture in a book, but to move around the globe to places many students will never get to see in person is sure to pique interest and encourage participation. Professionally curated virtual tours are another option. One example is the virtual tour of Mount Vernon. This tour would work well in any U.S. history class focused on early American history through the Civil War. Students can navigate their way through our first president's plantation home. They can see his mansion, the outbuildings, the beautiful gardens, the distillery and gristmill, and the library. This tour brings new life to our first president and more context to the historical period. These kinds of professionally developed tours are simple and easy to navigate. They also include pictures and video to make them more accessible to our students. Scholastic also has some wonderful resources. One of those being the Underground Railroad Escape from Slavery. This online tour takes students through the experience of escaping to freedom on the Underground Railroad. There is a first person story that grows with each section. The best thing about this resource is the accessibility. All pieces of writing have audio narration. My name is Walter, and I was born a slave in Virginia. The Underground Railroad Escape from Slavery is an easy to use resource for both the student and the teacher. The students can move from section to section with a simple click of their mouse. And for the teachers, there are pre-created questions for the students to answer at the end as a check for understanding. Making history come alive is something that takes effort and dedication. And while taking your students on traditional field trips is wonderful, it is not always possible. Take advantage of the technology that is at your fingertips. Your school does not have to be one-to-one -one with technology. A simple computer lab will do. Let your students connect with the material in a more meaningful and real way through the use of programs like Google Tour Builder and professionally developed virtual tours. We will find a new level of success when we allow our students to interact with history, not just view it from a book.